Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video. We are at Sebring for this week's iRacing Grand Prix Tour event. The 100% series and in particular this is the open setup version. The version that I'm actually currently leading my division at the moment. I'm first. Who would have thought it, eh? <laughs> so we are hoping to hopefully pick up some good points here. We're in top split and stay at the top of our division. Sebring is a track that I don't particularly like. It's never suited my eye um, in any car. So yeah, I'm just hoping to have a nice result. We qualified down in eighth position, middle of the pack. So hopefully, yeah, we can keep it clean get back our A license as well, which we recently lost. And these 100% races are quite useful in regaining or maintaining your safety rating. So yeah, we have a number of different reasons why we need to do well in this race today. So yeah, this is a shortened down version. It's not the whole race because some of it was a little bit boring. Not a lot happened. Um, so yeah, let's head into it. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on and enjoy. 52 laps. Here we go. P8. Get ready. Keep your nose clean. Floor it. Oh. Bit of a wheel spin in left the second side. phase there. Clear left. Car left. Still there. Clear left. Cost me probably a spot or so. Starts okay. Now find your groove. Oh man, I really do hate that corner. We need to try and look after these tyres, make them go to at least 30. Dude, you're the absolute oh, idiot that wanted to turn in on me. Things are going to start get interesting when DRS is allowed, which is next lap. Not making any use of the battery deployment at the moment, just letting things settle in the race. Oh, big ball by Lovett there. Could have gone for the move, but no point. We'll try and stay close. And we don't. We get a wash of dirty air. <laughs> that fouled. Oh, we're too tight there, Scott. The leader has just done a 130.58. That last lap was a 132.08. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. Yeah, too much understeer there. DRS now.
falling away from the pack in front, so we need to... The gap in front is now 0.8. Yeah, head's screwed on. We've been warned about track limits. Just done a one thirty point three nine. Oh, is it the wall? Boing. place. Come on, pass him already. I'm trying, Jim. Incident in sunset. Oh, someone's crashing sunset. That's the fastest lap of the race. Oh. There's an incident in turn one. Jesus, right on the racing line. That car was trying to move out of the way, but Jesus. Stick with him, keep him under pressure. Still trying to manage these tyres here, not take too much out of them. I'm so bad at that last corner. Never know when to turn in. That was a 131.78. Dirt yeah man, dirt Top of him now. The gap behind is now 1.0 seconds. There's an incident in Bishop. <laughs> incident in Gender Bien.
There's an incident in Le Mans. Now a black car getting out of the way. That was a one thirty one point seven one. What's happening here? Why are they so slow? Now I got John right behind us, so we need to be careful of. Distracted. Defend your position. He's quicker than you into. On your right. Still there. Clear right. Has he picked up damage or something, Loic? Wonder if he's hit the wall or something. Save the battery for the next part. Seventh position. There's an incident in the hairpin. Fucking hell! Jesus! You'll need to slow down if you don't want a penalty. I wonder why he broke so early. Oh my god, what is that guy doing? Just retire the from the race, please. To 1 .1 seconds. Me, can you just retire, please? You're getting in the way of absolutely everyone. You've been lapped three times already. Right, I need to get some composure back now because the gap behind has now decreased to 2.5 seconds. He's faster than you into right. Cunningham. We need to sort ourselves out now, get our composure back. Tires last. We just took so much out of them there with that massive lock up. I can definitely tell that it's still really hot. Put George right on our ass now. I've got no grip now. I've got more no about grip track limits. Tires. No front ends. You're reeling this guy in. The gap's now 0.7. Come on, keep pushing. We might have to change the hard tyre. Absolutely killed us, that lock-up. There's no way the tyres are still too hot. No way. P2 
12. So then these tyres all ready for... <laughs> The gap in front has increased, no, it's, it's now about 2.4. I'm all over the gap. I'm going to have to do two more laps. The gap behind is now 7.8 seconds. Two more laps and we seconds. make the hards go 40 laps. That's the plan, that's what we're going to have to do. It's not the strategy I want, but... Uh, they're just they're just already gone. The stewards have warned us about track limits, keep it no between the lines. On this tire anymore. Losing way too much time. We've gone out of track limits, keep it between the lines. There's an incident in Tower. That's where I really feel it, it's through there. One more lap, come on. Hit on a 12. The gap in Take front is increasing, lap. it's now 5.1. Track limits, watch those lines. Oh my god, can it? Get me into the pits, I should have pitted just then. At least we're still in the race though, that's the important thing. is now 4.1. I'm intrigued to see what these uh what these tyres are going to be like, percentage wise. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 72 <laughs> kilometres per right, hour. Come on. You've got loads of fuel.
So yeah, not the best few laps there, guys, unfortunately. But just to bring your attention to why I actually struggled after that lockup, I thought it was the tyres. But I actually had 60% left in that front left tyre, which takes a real pounding around this track. And it actually wasn't the tyres. That should have been plenty of grip left for this car to perform. But as you're about to see, we hit the cones while rejoining the track and it completely tore apart our front wing. I did not know this at the time. It really felt like it was the tires losing grip, uh, but that would be the reason why we struggled in those laps after this uh, until that pit stop because I thought we just had some floor damage. Yes, we had some required repairs, but this track is quite bumpy and that's what I thought was the reason for those repairs, not the fact that we lost our entire front wing. So uh, yes, I, I take it back. Uh, the tyres were fine. That's the reason why. Still real strange that a cone can do that much damage though. Uh, so yes, a lesson learnt. But let's head back into the race. Got some required repairs as well. I think that was from me hitting the... Yes, exit's clear. You need to slow down a bit if you don't want a penalty. It's fine, you got loads. I hate Sebring. The pit exit looks clear. Blue flag. So after that second false pit stop, two in two laps, going through front wings like there's no tomorrow, we rejoined down in 15th position. Not ideal, 40 to 50 seconds off of P14. That's more than a pit stop behind. The race is not looking too good for us. And to top it off, we can't go hammer time because we have to manage this hard set of tires to the end of the race. Um, so. Yes, not looking good for us. So we're going to have to hope for some freebies, which we actually did pick up along the way because we're going to jump 20 laps in front to lap 36. Not a lot happened. I was running on my own, managing the race. As I said, picked up some freebies and we're actually coming up fast upon P11.
the gap in front is now 3.3 seconds. The leader's just done a 128.30. Far left, clear left. Blue flag. Twelve. behind his pitting. Gerard, shut the fuck up. I'm in my own race, buddy. absolutely miles back as well, so don't even try blaming that on me. Clear left. Fucking awesome move, mate. <clears throat> B11, that lap was a 130.94. So that was P11 in the bag. We very quickly started to pull away from Tom. I thought he would make a little bit more of a fight of it, but he was nice and kind to us in that last corner, leaving us plenty of room to get by. Now, Gerard, he was a little bit irate because he went for a late lunge into that hairpin, which was just too far back from him. He locked up the brakes and lost it of his own accord. I will happily let people by when they are on top of me, but he wasn't close enough to make an overtake there to safely pass, which is the job of the car who is doing the lapping. And I'm also not gonna compromise my race as I stated to him during the comms. Uh, so yeah, I was a little bit irate myself because of him getting upset, but people need to realize that you cannot expect others to just get out of the way when they've got their own race to run. Now we're gonna jump ahead again, guys, to lap 49. Not a lot happened. We picked up some more freebies, actually made it into the top 10, P9. And for some reason, it was at this stage of the race that after 49 laps, I started to actually feel comfortable in the car and round this track.
laps. Two laps left. Push, 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 we can get this guy P8, last lap, that's the fastest lap. P8, there we go, it's over. Bring it back round. How have I finished P8 out of that? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous race. Wow, what a ridiculous race. I totally agree with myself there at the end. How I've managed to bag myself a P8 after everything that happened, um, I do not know. Um, I won't be back at this track anytime soon, to say the least. I'm so glad it's not on the official schedule. <laughs> But uh, do you know what? I've managed to bag fastest lap, God knows how, um, and I've managed to achieve my two targets before this race, which was stay at the top of my division and increase that lead, which we've done, and also gain some safety rating, getting us closer to regaining that A license, which I've also done as well. So overall, while it doesn't seem like it, a positive race <laughs> I've done what I set out to achieve in the future though guys and um, I'm just gonna have to remember these cones are made out of stone <laughs> uh, if only eh? well I hope you guys enjoyed that remember to hit that like and subscribe button turn those notifications on and I'll see you for the next one bye